Bounds. Now let's proceed to hypothetical. Hypothetical is different from categorical because of the word the word ha, hypothetical hypothesis. So there can be no hypothetical proposition if they do not belong to the three classes of hypothetical proposition: conditional, disjunctive, and conjunctive. Mona, in, 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 uh, to further discuss this later, meron tayong discussion in the succeeding chapters yung tinatawag natin na especially in the inference or in the third act of the mind sa uh, reasoning tinatawag natin na modus ponens, modus tulens so pag-aralan intimims we'll discuss them later <coughs> kasi mga conditional propositions yan sila eh. conditional syllogisms pala not proposition I give you an example pag sabihin, na, sabihin natin it if it is cloudy, therefore, it would likely rain. So that is a conditional, a conditional proposition. So we'll discuss that later, na lang. So hypothetical, this kind of proposition expresses a judgment which is dependent. Take note that dependent from the precedent. The consequent is dependent from the precedent, or another judgment. Meaning, the the first the clause or the statement. I'm sorry, it's not the clause. The statement cannot exist or cannot stand alone without reference to the other statement. There are what we call basically two statements or two clauses in order to have what we call hypothetical proposition. So it's not an absolute one. According to Beetle, that hypothetical proposition does not attribute a predicate. So pasabot. Wala siyang predication to, to its subject directly But asserts the dependence Of one judgment on another One judgment cannot be Without depending Depending on another Judgment So these are three types of Hypothetical, the first one is we call it Conditional, we talk about conditional Especially when there is A conditional word Na if Pag may mga if, automatic, conditional, yun na siya, condition. Huwag na itong bantayan. If at saka when. There is what we call, if is a matter of condition and when is a matter of time. So sabi natin, if freedom is to preserve its real meaning, it must be an equal freedom for all. If you have studied your lesson, then you must have passed the exam. If you did not study your lesson, then there is a big possibility that you will fail in the exam. So the if and the must. So if you if if you had if you have courted me, you must have been my boyfriend. If you have followed the order of the doctor, you must have lived a healthy life. So that is what we call a conditional. One cannot one would take note the first clause is not is is not possible or cannot be thought of without reference to the second clause. So we call it dependent and independent. We have two two clauses. One is dependent, the other one is the 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 subordinate, I'm sorry. The main clause and a subordinate clause. Okay? Disjunctive when there is